I'm going to start with one of the sample configurations available on the website. This demonstration configuration is in view only mode and we need to make our own copy of it in order to work with it. Okay, now we have our own copy and I'm going to close the original. The quad stick is configured by taking inputs and outputs and connecting or binding them together. A collection of input and output connections is called a profile. A profile is represented in a Google spreadsheet by different sheets. In this demonstration configuration, we have profiles for a mouse, keyboard, the PS3 right joystick, left joystick, D-pad, as well as a profile for doing system functions such as brightness or volume of the quad stick, or a TV remote control. The sheet representing a profile is formatted with the leftmost column representing the outputs to the emulated devices. In this case, the output for the mouse left movement. And then to the right of that are inputs such as the left joystick analog value or the mouse left button, which is mouthpiece both SIP. There are two groups of inputs associated with each output, the normal group and the alternate group. The alternate group is selected by using the byte sensor to latch temporarily or permanently the alternate group of inputs. This is used to allow a rapid change in the configuration of the quad stick. In this profile, we have the mouse left, right, up and down movement normally mapped to the left, right, up and down movement of the joystick. But when we switch into the alternate profile, we have the, the joystick up and down left and right movement mapped instead to the mouse wheel or pan movement. In this profile, the other inputs are all mapped the same for both normal and alternate. The PS3 is represented by three profiles one for each of the two joysticks, the right and left, as well as another for the D-pad. Output lists are created by selecting an output name for one of the emulated devices from a drop-down list that includes the names for the PS3, the mouse, and all the keyboard key codes. A second drop-down list is available for each of the inputs. The keyboard profile shows the use of pattern recognition in triggering outputs. Starting in the center, the joystick is moved to one or more zones, and when the pattern matches one in the profile, the output is triggered. This is an example of the letter A, where the joystick is moved to the northeast position, and then to east, and then back to the center. Or for the letter B, to the east, to the south, and center. Some letters can be represented by simplified shapes that approximate the outline of the character. Or patterns can be designed that look a lot like the character. These are the current patterns that are used for the keyboard profile at this time. In the keyboard profile, the alternate input group is used for entering numbers. On the TV profile, we have infrared commands for a DISH satellite receiver. The various commands listed here are commonly used for operating the satellite receiver. And the, the infrared codes that are sent for each command are defined on this second sheet where we list each of the infrared command output names and then have the Philips Pronto infrared hex code for that command in this second column. 
These Pronto hex codes are available in various uh, libraries online for a variety of uh, audiovisual equipment. And then finally, there's a preferences sheet where we control things like the sensitivity of the joystick, the sensitivity of the sip and puff sensors, and some timing parameters, also how the Bluetooth is configured.